Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and this is how to play You Somebody by Kings of Leon. Alright, this song is in the key of C, and we're going to start out with a C power chord. I'm going to discuss the chord progressions in the verse, in the chorus, and in the bridge, and then we're going to talk about the uh, lead guitar parts throughout the song. Alright, so we're going to start out with a C power chord. On the fifth string, we have third fret. Moving down the strings, we have five and five. So we're going to mute out the top string and mute out the first and second string as well. However you want to do that. So when you play this, you're only playing just those three notes that you're pressing down. Alright, so this is our C chord, C power chord. Then we're going to move to a C over E. And it's going to be the same exact fingering but we're going to open up the top string for that E. So we have the E on top of that C power chord. So C over E, changing the root note. Then we're going to move to an F power chord. Starting with the top string, that's frets 1, moving down, 3, and 3, mute out the rest. So we have C, C over E, and then F. Alright, the only other chord we really have in this song is an A. Or an A minor, it serves as an A minor for this key, but it's just an A power chord. We're going to start on the top string, we have frets 5, moving down, 7, 7, mute out the rest. So throughout the verse, the introduction, the chorus, all chord progressions, the chord progression is C, C over E, and F. You do that twice, then you move to an A minor, C, then F, and you do that twice. Alright, so we have this. Do it again. We move to the A minor. One more time. All right, and so for the chorus and introduction, you're going to play it just like that, open. No palm muting or anything. All right, so the rhythm we have here is in 4-4 uh, four, four time, okay? So we have four beats per measure. We're going to strum in patterns of four, but the actual strumming pattern and the kind of beat of this song, we're going to talk about the strumming pattern in beats of six and two, okay? And so instead of four and four, which equals eight, we're going to do six and two, which still equals eight. So we still have, you know, four beats here. So what we're going to do is accent on the 1 and the 4 and the 1 again. So like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. So the 1, the 4, and then the 1 um, right after the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. Whether you're doing that in palm muting or open, you want to keep that same rhythm. So if you want to do the palm mute, like in the verse, you can do that. So you're just going to put your, your palm down on the strings, and on that one, the four, and the one, after the six, you're going to open up that chord, but after that, you're just going to palm mute the rest of those beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, 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 one, two. Alright, so you can play the verse like that. And then when you get to the chorus, just open those chords up, play the same rhythm, but no palm muting. Alright? So the, let's talk about the lead pattern real fast. The lead pattern that he's playing here in the choruses, while we're, we're playing the C chord progression, C, C over E, and F, that twice. Lead guitar player is playing frets five and five on the third and second string, and the open bottom E string. Okay, just playing that open for the C, C over E, F chord progression. Then once we move to A, we do a little lead pattern up on the 12th fret. Okay, and this is going to be played frets 12 on the 2nd string, 13, and 15 all on the 2nd string, but you're also going to play the 1st string open the entire time.
then we're gonna move down to the 10th fret. We're gonna go 10, 8, 6, 5, 3, 1. So. So again, that's 10, 8, 6, 5, 3, 1. And you're just gonna strum in eighth notes. So. Down, 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 down. One, and two, three, four. You know. So it's just eighth note patterns playing these lead guitar patterns. All right, and the only other thing he does up here in the uh, in the introduction and the choruses, he goes from that 12 to the 13 to the 14, uh, 15, sorry, to the 17, and he bends that up to like the 18th fret. Okay, so that's pretty much the only lead patterns we have. Then we have a little solo too that we're gonna talk about. Um, but that brings us to the bridge now. The uh, chord progression in the bridge changes. It changes to a D power chord. Starting on the fifth fret, that's frets five, seven, and seven moving down. To an F sharp. The F sharp is two on the top string, moving down four and four. So we have just D and F sharp back and forth. Same rhythm. Alright, then when the solo begins, it moves back to the chorus chord progression. And then we have the solo. Okay, so we have the solo or the outro of the song, which starts on the second string, fifth fret. It's played like this. Alright, so it has a lot of dissonant tones in there. And the way I'm doing that is I'm playing the first and second string of the guitar the entire time. And so it, it alternates between which one of those strings is open and not. So we're going to start on the fifth fret, second string. We're going to move to the first string, third fret. Still playing both strings, so one's going to be open and one's not going to be open. We're going to move to the first fret, second string. Then slide that up to the sixth fret on the second string. Then down to the fifth. And then three, one. All right, so we have five. Three on the first. One. Five, three, one. And you can play this pretty much with any fingers you want. All right, then we're going to bend up that fifth fret too. So before you go down, bend up that fifth fret to the sixth fret, and then move down. All right, so then after the solo, we're going to end on a B flat note. We're just going to bend it up and bend it back down. So you can play a B flat on the third string, uh, third fret. And just start on a bend, so you're kind of bending it up to a B first and then let it uh, bend down to a B flat. So start by bending the third string, third fret up. And just bend it, you know, just let it fall down, or you can bend it the other way. Either way. Then uh, then the last part of the song where he sings like the last bit of the verse or goes back to the verse and sings again, you just play the same chord progression over again. So C, C, F. And then the song ends and that's it.